Welcome back to LGBT Snapshots. I am your host, Chad. It is World War II week, and today is Lesbian Day. Claude Cahun was born in 1984 in France, with the birth name Lucy Renee Mathilde Schwab. When her mother was placed in a mental institution, Lucy was brought up by her grandmother. At university in Paris, she began experimenting with photography and self-portraits in various formats, and she began actively exploring the ideas behind gender identity and gender expression and what they meant in her life. After experimenting with the names Daniel Douglas and Claude Corliss, she chose the name Claude Cahoon for herself and had it legally changed in her late 20s in around 1919, though she kept her birth gender of female her entire life. In the early 1920s, she connected with her life partner, who also happened to be a non-blood-related step-sibling named Suzanne Malherbe, who also took the name Marcel Moore later on. And the two worked their entire lives as Claude and Marcel on writing, publishing, sculpting, photography, and activism. They fraternized with other popular artists and writers at the time, and Claude, while using a male name and living as female, often described herself as agender or without gender, and her work consistently challenged gender roles. In the late 1930s, Claude and Marcel moved to the island of Jersey, off the coast of France, and soon Germany took over the island as well as France itself in the war. For years during the war, Claude and Marcel worked in the anti-resistance movement, creating and distributing flyers among German soldiers and often putting themselves at risk. In 1944, this led to Claude's arrest and imprisonment, and she was sentenced to death. While this sentence was never carried out, Claude's health took a turn for the worse, and she died in 1954 due to her decline in health. Claude's work has been featured many times since her death and can be seen online now. For example, in 1994, a series of her self-portraits were featured, showcasing her as a dandy, a skinhead, an androgene, a nymph, a model, and a soldier. Over, over 50 years after her death, she continues to spark conversations about beauty, art, and gender roles. She's now buried with her life partner, Marcel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you back here tomorrow for Fiction Day when we discuss both the fictional and popular movie The Imitation Game as well as the life of Alan Turing, who it was based on. Thank you.